The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Well, what do a trucking company and a poultry farm have in common, you might ask? I asked that, too, until I took a closer look. They're both on the aggressive growth radar that Brian Bolin, our aggressive growth strategist, keeps watching. And uh, today was no different. Yeah, today was a, a little bit of a special day, you know, finding a couple names that were Zach's rank number one strong buys. Yeah, uh, with A's across the board score-wise. You know, this is this is one of those rare times because a lot of times I like to have an A for growth and an F for value. Right. And I call that the divergence. Right. And when we get that divergence, I know that growth investors and value investors are looking for two different things, right? The growth investor wants growth. A value investor wants something beaten up and where their money is, they feel that it's getting a better price. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I see that A for growth and an F for value, and I'm an aggressive growth type guy, I know that I'm on the right track already. So uh, let's start with the trucking company, Warner Enterprises. Right, Warner Enterprises, uh, you know, the A uh, for, for growth, but yeah. it also has an A for value. And, you know, that kind of puzzles you know, some people here, but it also has an A for momentum as well. So A's across the board. I scratched my head, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, A's across the board for Warner. Uh, good earnings for, uh, very recently. We also seen earnings estimates move up sharply here for this stock for 2017 and 2018. And that's the reason why it is a Zach's rank number one strong buy. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a chart here, but we if you could take a look at any chart of this, especially the last few months. If you could imagine one. You could imagine, just picture what, it. What or, would it look like? Or just click through. It would look like a nice 45 degree angle straight up. Okay. You know, this is one of those names that not a lot of people have heard about. Right. You know, the trucking sector has been strong over the last year or so. Class eight trucks, have you know, sales have been very strong. Uh, you know, the logistics companies have been doing very well. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you know, I just heard last night um, that FedEx is raising prices, you know, for their delivery. Oh. You know, that's going to help a, a company like Warner. You know, just the per just the perception that trucking shipping costs are moving higher mm -hmm. when one of the big players is doing it. A name like this is also going to benefit from that. All right. And then there is talk about uh, names that a lot of people might not have heard about. Sanderson Farms. Sanderson's Farms. Uh, this one is an A for growth and an A for value as well, but a C for momentum. You know, when I took a look at it, I think there was one recent meet, but most of the earnings uh, events have been beats. So I would I would have thought that that would have had an A across the board as well. But it is a Zach's rank number one. You know, when we're talking about Sanderson Farms, we're talking about chicken. Yep. Um, you know, chicken prices move with the market, and, and the grocery market has had a lot of uh, upheaval lately. You know, Kroger missed pretty bad. Amazon bought Whole Foods. Whole Foods prices are coming down. Uh, is this going to bring more people into the supermarket as opposed to going to your uh, local fast food, quick service restaurant, or mm -hmm. something like that. Not even fast food, but like a, you know, say a dine-in place that would be serving chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a possibility, you know. But the main idea here is that why is this a Zach's rank number one? It's because earnings estimates have moved up, and if you go to the detailed estimates page for Sanderson Farms, you will see a gigantic move for 2017. Their earnings estimates they moved from about ten dollars per share to thirteen dollars per share. That's a thirty percent move in earnings estimates, the stock has followed right along with that big move. As you know, believers of uh, fundamental um, analysis will tell you that as the earnings estimates move higher and earnings move higher, the price of the stock will move higher. So we've seen that with Sanderson Farms. All right, we'll take your word for that because we have to. Uh, <laughs> do you own either of these two? I, I do not. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, there is a lot more information on our website, zax.com, about stocks, stock picking strategies and commentary and all that good stuff. So get on over to the homepage and, and begin the adventure on zax.com. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.